What's up, Pad Red over here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to offer value to high status guys so that way you can get access to higher status guys' lives without really having to go through all the grunt work yourself. This is something that if you listen to this all the way, take notes and it will definitely help you out if you're just starting out, building your social circle, designing your lifestyle, getting away from a lifestyle that you don't like or being around people that you don't like to be around. So the first tip to offering value to connect with high status guys is understand exactly what they want. And you're probably thinking, you're like, oh shit, I don't know what they want. And it's actually not as difficult as you think. The biggest thing is to ask questions. That's the easiest way to actually facilitate this. If you don't ask questions, like in a sale, or if you don't ask questions, cool ass little Tesla right here. Um, if you don't ask questions in a sale, you don't know anything about your audience. So how can you help them if you don't know anything about them? It's equivalent to the difference between a pitch and somebody buying into your product. So for example, if you ask somebody questions and they tell you like, oh yeah, um, I'm looking for a house that's like a ranch. Um, it's out in the middle of nowhere. And I really, really like pools. Well, then you're not gonna spend all the time showing them a bunch of they don't want. You're just gonna focus on the exact specifications that they've given you. So this is the same exact process for connecting with a high status guy. When you ask them questions, you figure out like, oh, what do you like to do for fun? Um, another great question is like, yo, where, like, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go on vacation? Just simple questions like that, that who, who the hell doesn't want to talk about themselves that way? Kevin, Coach Kevin back here. <laughs> um, who the hell doesn't want to talk about themselves? And got high status guys like anybody else likes and enjoys talking about themselves. And the more value that you build up and the more smaller questions and more compliance that you get, the easier it is actually to get these simple little questions answered. So I'll start out with simpler questions. I won't ask them like their life ambition or something like that. But I'll start out with very simple questions like, yo, where are you from? And um, just keep asking questions and kind of doing a semi-interview mode, at least initially. Um, so then the second tip, sorry, I have this little fluff on my hair. The second tip is to build commonalities. So what is a commonality? A commonality is something that links you two together, even if it doesn't even make any sense. A great example, if a guy answers a question and he's like, yo, I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. It's so beautiful, not gonna die. It's so freaking beautiful. We went surfing yesterday and it was amazing. Um, never had been surfing, caught two waves. This is dope, ciao dude. Um, so th the thing is to build commonalities. Even if this guy, say this guy says he's from Honolulu, Hawaii, be like, yo man, what's up? That's awesome. I've actually been to Honolulu, Hawaii myself. Um, where, do you, where are you from originally? And then he like tells me where he's from originally. And you know, I can dig a little bit more into that commonality because it's a strong reason why we're talking together. We're talking together because we are both, you know, we both have, we both in Honolulu, Hawaii. That might not mean anything, but it's a great reason you just, realize that a lot of these things aren't super super logical they're just these uh emotional characteristics that make you feel more comfortable more safe around somebody that you have like some type of bond that's beyond you know you two just standing there um you can build commonalities around things you like to do places you visited food you like what type of music you like um your favorite color what type of fashion you're into um where your parents were born names friends that you have in common is a big one i love uh being like connecting people with friends that i know one of these girls that i was overseeing here in honolulu uh, i invited one of my friends cassidy over and she freaking knew cassidy and cassie and i have been instagram friends for like a solid i want to say a solid like year now and it was so crazy because it was like we have a friend in common um <laughs> And then the third part of connecting with high status guys and how to offer value, get these high status guys to want to be in your life is what's called a future projection. 
Now, a future projection, it sounds kind of like a fancy ass term, but essentially what it means is that you have a plan to do something with them in the future. This could be, you know, like really, really tangible, like you're gonna go surfing tomorrow, or you're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go to that dinner on Friday night, we're both gonna go over to district and we're gonna go party together. Just simple things like that, or even offering him to like, oh man, like when you come to Vegas, I'll hook you up with my promoters. I love doing that. Um, it doesn't take me any time other than just linking somebody with promoters, but just because it's such a big perceived value for them, um, something that I've determined what they actually like by asking them questions. Like I build a future projection based on the commonalities and based on the questions that I've asked them. And, so beautiful. Ignore that really, really loud motorcycle. Um, because I've asked them questions and because I've built commonalities, my future projection is based upon some some foundation. I already know what type of like food he likes, so maybe I offered to have him come over with me and my friends to go get that type of food sometime. It's not really, really big things. They don't have to be like super, super tangible. Obviously, you can dig down into the details a little bit more, but it's not really that important. Even if you do or do not do that thing with that guy, he already sees you as a step above people because you've listened to what he has to say. You've asked him super interesting questions. You guys have a lot in common. And when you actually build those future projections, it's pretty crazy because it's like, oh, now we have a now we have like a tangible reason to be friends. And once you do that future projection, you get his phone number, you get him on Instagram, you get him on Snapchat, you get him on Facebook. And now you have a reason for why you have that contact information. It's not just contact information to have a friend, but we're gonna do this thing in the future because we have so much in common and we only have stuff in common because I asked you questions. And now that we have that solidified connection, of course we're gonna be friends now. And it's pretty wild. <laughs> um, just to give you a quick, quick synopsis of this. I mean, I've future projected for like parties. I've future projected for like all these different types of dinners, um, yacht parties, boat parties, going on this trip to Hawaii, going on a trip to Miami as well. And it's pretty funny because people will actually then take the initiative to make it happen. You don't actually have to put in all the work. A lot of the times if you do this and you really dig deep into what that person wants and why they're doing what they do, and you build these solid commonalities, the other person ends up solving any logistics or any problems that you would have. Maybe you don't know how to plan a trip to Miami, but the other guy, he really wants, he's really bought into the idea of going to Miami with you. And because of that, he ends up planning the trip and maybe he pays for it. Um, I've had that happen as well, where people pay for my flights. It's a pretty amazing experience. And if you haven't experienced that yet, it's something that really doesn't take any money. It just takes a little bit of know-how and even understanding like the power of being able to connect with guys who are living the type of lifestyle that you want. Now, a lot of my students have been using this exact same process and even uh, Stefan over here used that to connect with a lot of the nightlife guys over here in Honolulu. And despite never, ever, ever being in Honolulu, we got DJ booth access. We got connected with all the promoters. The promoters loved to have us there, offered us free shots. We got introduced to so many new people and it was a really cr crazy, amazing experience. Pulling up to the Airbnb right now. And so if you feel as though that is something that you wanna pursue, you wanna be able to connect with these high status guys that are actually living the lifestyle that you want and you might feel stuck, you might not know have a step-by-step -step plan, you might not know what to say to them, you might not feel like you deserve it, uh, you might not know how to actually talk to these guys or how to get access to these high-status venues. If you want a free 30-day action plan that will actually bring you through a step-by-step -step process and how to create your epic social circle and leave this unhappy lifestyle that you might be living right now, um, Go click down in the link down below and book a call with one of my coaches. It's 100% free. These coaches are some of the best in the world, like Kevin right here. And um, <laughs> once you do that, one of my coaches will hop on a call with you and they'll break down a 30-day action plan or 60-day action plan just for you in your city. And this is applicable to anywhere in the world. And um, 
might just give you a free step-by-step -step process. If that sounds like you, if you're an action taker, this is not for people that are super lazy, that aren't gonna put in the work, that aren't willing to invest in themselves, that don't understand the power of mentorship. If that's not you, then don't, don't, even, don't even apply for that. I don't want people like that to work with. Um, but if you are an action taker, if you do want to get this part of your life handled and you want to actually be able to connect with high status guys to live the lifestyle that you want, go ahead and click that link below. If you like this, go help and help the channel. Subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you'll be a part of the notification squad. And peace out. And I'm enjoying Honolulu. I'll be back in San Francisco tomorrow. Peace out.